If you've ever had an eye exam, you've seen these devices. I can see his retina now. I can see his optic nerve, his macula, and, um, and his retina. To closely examine a patient's eye, doctors use indirect ophthalmoscopes and slit lamp instruments. It's, a, it's an excellent device. What it does not let you do is take pictures. If he has some complex findings, we spend a lot of time describing it in words, and then the next person who sees the record has to take what I've written and then form a picture in their head. It's an inefficient practice, so a team of ophthalmologists at Stanford University came up with another solution involving their smartphones. We developed an adapter called the iGo adapter that we designed so that we can easily take photos of the front and back of the eye. iGo makes use of items an ophthalmologist likely already owns, a condensing lens and an iPhone that also keeps costs low. The early estimate is under $100. By comparison, these instruments run thousands of dollars. The lens is held in front of the phone at the prescribed distance and it takes up the center of the screen. And now we're ready to take a picture of Alex's eye. You can see here, this is his optic nerve right in the middle, or actually off to the side. And then there are vessels that come off of it. And then um, here is his macula. This is what we call the posterior pole. The inventors aren't claiming that IGO replaces sophisticated medical equipment, but it does offer a way to screen patients in places with limited healthcare facilities. And we'd be able to figure out what's going on with the eye with these photos, things like conjunctivitis, corneal ulcers, maybe some things like diabetic retinopathy, hemorrhages in the back of the eye. The ophthalmologist also developed software, so images can be shared securely and privately with other physicians. Combined with the adapter, the technology holds enormous potential. You can make uh, the diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy, for instance, very, very easily on uh, an image just like the ones that we can take. Uh, and in doing that, you can save literally uh, the sight of millions of people over the course of a uh, 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 several years. The team's next step, FDA approval for the IGO to make that vision a reality. In Palo Alto, California, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.